it is messy in here, dude. So we're gonna clean it up. Before we start, I wanna give you some background on this office. I'm gonna put you guys up there for this. So I've been streaming every single day for the past almost two years now. I have the exact number here, let me show you. There it is. Streaming since. Wait, where is it? 697. Almost 700 days straight. Every single day, without fail. Not a single day off. Streamed every single day, whether it's a five minute stream or a 24 hour stream. I also think that even saying that I started 700 days ago is not really giving you the entire story. Let's go back to the very beginning. In 2017, one of my best friends from college and roommate started a gaming channel on YouTube. After a handful of videos and really not that much progress, we decided to move into an office that we found. This was really a dream place, probably the best place you could ask for as a creator. You walk into this huge open warehouse with a pool table. It has a cyclorama, which is, uh, you use it for taking photos, so there's no corners on it. Um, and we had our own private office in the corner. And that was really the beginning of when we stopped making videos. Eventually, we decided that it wasn't really for us and we stopped making videos. The thing that I always found funny about that scenario was that when we were in the apartment and just making videos, it was the most fun ever and we were just producing stuff and putting it out and uploading it. Um, and as soon as we moved into the office, everything got harder. This place that was supposed to make things easier and make the videos better had the exact opposite effect of it just making everything harder for some reason. It felt like there was more of a barrier to hit the record button and more of a barrier to upload something. And I'm trying to figure out why. Because fast forward seven years later and I'm taking a second attempt on this, that's exactly what happened with this office. In a certain sense, moving out of streaming in my bedroom and moving into this place marked kind of a desire to move on. I think one of my biggest questions in life to myself has always been, what am I doing and what do I want? I never can figure out what I want. Usually that question stays dormant in my head for years and I never really know the answer. But then one day I wake up. So normally I could just sweep these up uh, with a broom, but it's all mixed in between ping pong balls and these little Nerf balls. Um, so I have to kind of take the ping pong balls out first and then I can sweep up the Nerf balls. All right, I think I got most of the ping pong balls. Let's go work on the Nerf balls. For the Nerf balls, I've got this nut collector um, that picks them up pretty well. You just roll them over and they fall into the basket. Its name is Barbara. I think typically I just find something that I like and I put my head down and I just put everything into it until I don't feel it anymore and then I snap out of it. I think the paradox in content creation as a job lies in the sliding scale between what you want to do and what you need to do. If it swings in either direction too much, it doesn't work out. And I think if you lose sight of that sliding scale and where you sit on it, you're either unable to continue making content or you don't want to make content anymore. But there is a sweet spot in there. There's a sweet spot to be found and I'm trying to hit that. I recently took a trip to Iceland and Sweden about a few weeks ago. Um, and one of the things that I really realized after kind of getting taken out of the streaming scene and having a, having a second to take a breath uh, was that if I could leverage content creation into taking me to new places and meeting new people, that's where I'm gonna be the happiest. That's where my head's at right now and that's kind of what I'm focusing on. Also one of the things that I realized is that every form of content has 
its own its own balance. Um, you have streaming, which is the longest form of content you can possibly imagine. Um, but it's also the most authentic. And then on the other end of the spectrum, you have uh, like a vertical short, like a TikTok or a YouTube short or something like that, um, that has the most entertainment value, but it's also the least authentic. I think long form video is a good balance between the two. It's a good balance between the entertainment and also the authenticity. That being said, I do still want to stream, but I think that I do want to pivot more into building YouTube. I think what I want to do and what I need to do at the end of the day is really just create stuff that I'm proud of. All right, I think we got most of the balls. There's still some in the corners left. Um, but that's pretty much all I wanted to say today. And uh, see you in the next one.